Hi. Now, what I've got here is a set of eight questions which I would certainly encourage you to try as a follow-up exercise to my earlier video on how we simplified expressions like this to a fractional or rational index. So if you'd like to try this, give you a moment just to pause the video. When you come back, I'll take you through the work solutions. OK, welcome back then, if you had a go. So let's start with the first one, 16 to the power half. Remember that anything to the power half means the square root. So what we've got here is the square root then of 16. And the square root of 16 is going to be equal to 4. Number 2, we've got 64 to the power 2 thirds. And with this one, we look at the third part first of all, and that means that we're taking this time the cube root, the cube root of 64, and then the 2 on the top means we square this result. So the cube root of 64 is 4, so we've got 4, and then it's squared. And 4 squared, 4 times 4 is 16. Number 3, 81 to the power a quarter. This time we're looking at the 4 at the bottom here and that means we take the 4th root of 81. And you could argue it's all to the power 1 but it's not going to make any difference here. And the 4th root of 81 is 3. Okay. Now at number 4 we've got 16 to the power negative three quarters. And when we're dealing with a negative power, we should remember that this is the same as one divided by the positive equivalent to that power. So in other words, 16 to the power three quarters. And then we've got the one on the top. When it comes to 16 to the power three quarters, that means we take first of all the fourth root of 16 and then when we found that, we cube it. OK, so we just put that in brackets with the 3 there. So what is the fourth root of 16? Well, fourth root of 16 is 2. And so we've got 2 to the power 3, 2 cubed there. And 1 divided by 2 cubed is going to be 1 over 2 cubed, which is 8, 1 eighth. With number 5, 4 ninths to the power 3 over 2. Then if we just take the 2 here, it means that what we've got to do is square root the 4 ninths. So we'll put a root sign around that. And then when we've got that answer, we need to cube it. And the square root of a fraction is the same as doing the root of the top and the root of the bottom. So square root of 4 ninths is 2 thirds. And then we cube that result. And then we've got 2 cubed, which is 8. And then we've got that divided by 3 cubed. And 3 cubed is 27. So we've got 8 27ths. With this one, We've now got 8 27ths to the power, negative 2 thirds. And for this one, when you've got a fraction to a negative power, an earlier tutorial, I showed you that all you had to do was invert the fraction. So we've got 27 over 8. And then just switch the sign here so it becomes to the positive 2 thirds. And we just proceed in the usual way. From here on, the 3 means that we take the cube root then of 27 over 8. And then this 2 here means that we square this result. So the cube root of 27 over 8, we cube root each of the top and the bottom parts of the fraction. Cube root of 27 is 3 and the cube root of 8 is 2. And what we've got to do now is square this result. So 
we end up now with 3 squared, which is 9, over 2 squared, which is 4. 9 quarters then. Number 7, 25x to the power 16, all to the power a half. So with this one, the half means that we've got to take the square root of 25x to the power 16. So square root then of 25x to the power 16. Square root of 25 is 5. And we've got to be careful here, x to the power 16. When we're taking the square root, it's not x to the power 4. It's in fact x to the power 8. Remember I showed you in an earlier video that all you need to do is just multiply these two together. 16 times a half is 8. And finally, number 8, 1 and 9 sixteenths, x to the power 36, all to the power negative 3 over 2. Now with this mixed fraction, what we've got to do is to turn this to a top-heavy fraction. So 1 and 9 sixteenths is going to be 25 sixteenths. Okay, 25 sixteenths, and then we've got that multiplied by x to the power 36. And all of this then is to the power minus 3 over 2. And with a negative power, just as I showed you in this example, all we need to do now is just invert our fraction. So this becomes 16 over 25. And the x to the power 36 is on the bottom here now. And then this is all raised to the power, the positive power now, 3 over 2. So what we've got to do is take the square root of this and then cube our result. So in other words then we've got to take the square root of 16 over 25 x to the power 36 and then when we've got that result we need to cube it. And the square root then of 16 is going to be 4. The square root of 25 is 5. The square root of x to the power 36 is in fact x to the power 18. Okay we just need again to halve that power there. And we take this result, all of this result, and we now cube it. So we've got 4 cubed. 4 cubed is 64. And we're dividing this by 5 cubed. 5 cubed is 125. And then we've got x to the power 18 all cubed. So we just need to do 18 times 3. And that gives us 54. So we've got x to the power 54. OK, so well done if you managed to get all of those right. Um, if there were any mistakes, hopefully you've been able to see where you've gone wrong. And uh, if you need any further backup, then just return back to my earlier tutorial on this. OK.